Please. Buenas tardes, Valencia. My name is Alejandro Pedraza. I'm a software engineer at Buoyant. My name is Julia Nascipo. I am the Rupa Advocate and Ambassador at Lattice. Linkerd is the fastest and lightest service mesh. And tell us right there that enables rapid development and extension of Kubernetes service loads. Linkerd and Telepresence can be used together to make locating, debugging, and testing Kubernetes service loads faster. Let's show you a quick demo. Okay, uh, this app allows you to vote for emojis. You have a leaderboard to see what are the favorite emojis among your users. We have deployed this in a cluster whose pods are listed here. We have under the emoji voto namespace the components that make up our app. We also have the Linkerd control point installed and Linkerd Vs, which is an extension that gives you extra visibility and uh, th that we will use in a moment. And we have Ambassadors Traffic Manager pod, which coordinates all the intercepts happening in this cluster. Now let's say users have been complaining about problems in our app, even though it's working fine for us, as we just saw. So in order to take a deeper look into what's going on, we're going to launch Linkerd V's dashboard. And the first thing we see is that the Emoji Voto namespace is not operating at a 100% success rate. So let's click there. We see the components that make up our app, Emoji and VoteBot are operating at a 100% success rate, but visibly voting and web are the ones having trouble. So let's click on web. Uh, in this diagram, we see how traffic flows into and out of web. We see that web depends on a service called voting, and apparently that's the service responsible for the errors. So let's click there. If we scroll down a little bit, we see all the requests coming into this pod. Everything is looking fine so far. But we start seeing problems. Uh, Vote Donut is failing consistently. So most likely, that is the source of all our problems. Up until now, we have used Linkerd to identify the location of the problems in our cluster. Now I'm going to hand it over to Edidion to uh, show us how we can use telepresence to debug and actually fix the problem. Awesome. So like What that's going to do is basically signifying that only requests with this header should be passed to the voting service on our local machine, and any request without this header will go to the voting service on our Kubernetes portal. So now that we have that working, and the reason why we're doing that is to ensure that what we're testing and debugging doesn't affect other developers on our team. So with that, we're going to quickly start the uh, emoji voting service on our local machine, and then I'm going to pass the header which is debug and click on. You don't have to do this, this is more of a manual approach, but if you log into Ambassador Cloud, you automatically create this um, personal intercept for you and also provide a quick URL that you can share with your teammates. So with that, if you vote for different emojis, you see that it works well, but if you vote for the Jonas emoji when you come up next, you'd see that it's not going to work well. And that pretty much confirms what Alejandro had located within LinkedIn. So now we know where the problem is, and the next step is to actually go to our code base and fix that issue. So I'm going to use Beam to open up the API double file where the donut function is in. And with that, I'll scroll down to the donut function, and you see there that it has a couple of codes, but then the section there says Valencia Paella is the best of all, <laughs> which is not true. I tried it yesterday and it's not passed. What we need to do is change that from false to true. So I'll quickly do that. And once we change that to true, we're going to save the changes, go back to our uh, CLI, and start to serve it again. So we bought the journal emoji now, you see that it's going to work well. And that concludes us being able to test the local service with all the remote services in our cluster. And we can then produce the production in a way that's working well. That's it. Uh, that was fast and easy. Uh, not just because this is Lightning Talk, but because these tools were built with usability and as the first and foremost concern. We know that we don't have a lot of time here to answer questions, so if you have any questions for this session, please send us a DM on Twitter handles there, or you can reach, us, reach out to us after the session. Thank you. Thank you.